sorry about that. I had a mild Facebook interruption there, people. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that, Facebook. I had a uh, mild connection issue with uh, Facebook. It seems to have cut out. The internet can be a bit dodgy sometimes, but anyways, I am in the process of making a blast of wands for Etsy. And... Yeah, I'm almost done with this one. Let me tell you something. If you got bullies in your life, I don't care where they at. Ignore them. Be the bigger person. You know? Especially if, you know, you're in a more professional setting and you got coworkers that stick up for you and then they see you get bullied on social media and they're just like, whoa, dude, that's kind of fucked. And I just choose to be the bigger person because, you know, and I'm not talking about nothing or nobody. I'm just saying. Hypotheticals, people. Hypothetical. You know what I'm saying? Hypothetically speaking, if you're getting bullied anywhere, I don't care if it's YouTube, work, outside of work. I don't care. My advice to you is to ignore them. You have bigger shit to do with your life. And you don't want to give the trolls the satisfaction of the quote-unquote Letting them get to you. But check this out. I got 11 sticks to carve out. And right now I'm getting this one is nice and full. You know, I try to get them a syllable, you know. But, um,. Now, the only thing I left on this wand as far as carving it would be getting this nub and this nub sanded off. And then making this nub a little bit smoother but not completely sanding it off. And then once this one's carved, move on to the next one. <clears throat> And there's just some things I keep off of Facebook and YouTube, you know? Yeah. And you'll find Oh, thank you, Jason X. Much obliged. You'll find that sometimes not saying anything will get you a lot further than saying something. There's ways of dealing with the situation without bringing detail to the situation, if that makes any sense. And, uh, you know, these wands ain't going to make themselves now.
Even if people make side comments about you, just ignore them, man. Just fucking ignore them. At the end of the fucking day, you got bigger fish to fry. These people who bully me think they're such tough shit, but it's like, dude, I've dealt with bigger bullies on YouTube, to be honest, and I'm still sitting here making videos saying, fuck the haters. Pardon my French, but for real. Like, I feel bad for kids today because they're getting bullied in school, they're getting bullied on social media, and in some cases, they get bullied at home. And if, if it's the some cases, then these kids that that are getting bullied in three different sections of life, internet, off internet, you know, it's sad. And it's, you know what I'm saying? I wish it didn't exist. It's not fair that kids bully each other, you know, it really isn't. Cause y'all, y'all going through the same, the same stuff down there. You know, I mean, y'all going to school, trying to make good education for yourself, so. Unless you're the next Bill Gates, you really need school. Most places, most places will not hire you anymore if you don't have a high school diploma or equivalent. So it's important to graduate school and get a good education, Facebook. It really is, you know. Otherwise, you'd be stuck doing under-the-table jobs, that kind of thing, you know. And those aren't always going to be the most pleasant, but I digress. Do what you got to do to make a living. And I like carving wands. It's relaxing. My fans like buying them because it makes them happy to receive something that was made by their favorite YouTuber. And it makes me money. So it's like it makes everyone happy, dude. Come on. Come If you're experiencing any sort of drama off social media, then that's where it needs to stay, Facebook. Okay, if your drama is on social media, then you want to deal with it on social media. If you have drama that you deal with outside of social media, then you deal with it outside of social media. And I know I'm a huge ass hypocrite for saying it, but it's the truth. There's times when you bring your drama from outside of social media onto it, it makes the drama on social media even worse, and vice versa. So nobody likes drama in their life. You know what I'm saying? Facebook, nobody. Nobody. People just, you know what I'm saying, that they don't like drama. And who could blame them? Ooh, that's gonna be really nice with me.
Now, the best advice I can give you for when you start to get a cold or a sore throat and you get all mucusy and what have you, blow your nose as often as you can. Get all that mucus out of your body as quickly as possible. If your body produces any sort of snot, clean your nose with a handkerchief or a, you know, a tissue or toilet paper or whatever, you know. I'm just saying. The sooner you get that mucus out of your body, the better and quicker your body will be able to fight any sort of infection. Just saying this because cold season's coming up. It's getting closer to winter and, you know. Which is uh, most excellent. Advice. Hmm. A little bit of sanding. Now, what do you do when you encounter those members of the opposite sex that just seem to hate or think negatively of the other half, you know? Case in point, if you got men who have a very negative view towards women and women who have a very negative view towards men, and when these two things happen collectively, when you get enough people who are like that, it creates an uneasy balance, if you will. Yeah. And just because you've had a couple of bad women or a couple of bad men in your life doesn't mean you need to let them ruin it for the rest of them. Sitting there saying all men are just pigs. You, how can you say that when you haven't met every man out there? You know? So that's kind of an unfair assumption. you can do at this point you Facebook make the ones and sell them to people it makes my fans happy and it makes me some money you know what I'm saying that's most definitely where it's at
That's a good looking wand. That's coming together very nicely. I'm not going to need to uh, do too much more sanding on this. Just a wee bit more right there on this nub right here. And then I want to chill for a minute. Because, uh, whew, let's see us. I think it's suckers carved out pretty quickly. People who bully other people, eventually it starts to bite them in the ass a little bit. Eventually it catches up to them. And it's simply the golden rule. Do unto others as you have done to you. Now, when people treat me like crap, I assume they want me to treat them like crap. So I will treat them like crap. And then when they get mad about it, I'm like, well, I don't go out of my way to treat you like crap, but here's the thing of it. You're going out of your way to treat me like crap, so that's telling me you want me to treat you like crap. But because I don't want you treating me like crap, I'm going to be the bigger person. And that's how I should be, you know what I'm saying? And it's pretty sad when people bully and do horrendous things to other people, treat them with disrespect, and eventually it comes back to bite them, you know. I mean, when I was younger, I would have beat somebody up if I didn't like them. But as I've gotten older, I've mellowed out a bit, and if I'm a much older person, and if I don't like somebody, I just ignore them, you know? Like when I had some kids that would hit me in the nuts because they thought it was funny. So one kid did it to me, I got up and I took the chair I was sitting on, Smacked him across the head with it. He flew to the floor. I chucked the chair to the side. Got on top of the little bastard, UFC style, and just started, bam, bam, bam. And do you think kids hit me in the nuts after that? Nope. I might have gotten in trouble for it, but I'm like, dude, come on. People want to provoke a fight with me and then get pissed off and butthurt when I finish it. Shouldn't have started it then. Should not have started it. Yeah. And that's the thing of it. Is sometimes people don't like it when you finish it, either with your words or with whatever, you know. And it's like, well, you poke a bear in the eye and then you get clawed in the face, and then you get pissed off. Why did the bear do that? Gee, I don't know. Why'd you poke the bear in the eye with the stick? That's what I'm wondering. And... 
You know what I'm saying? If it gets to a point where, you know, yeah. And then get some uh, intervene, you know? That piece is dead. Hmm. Hmm. Little bumps just about there. I could leave it just like that. It would look kind of cool, but yeah, no. It wouldn't match the um, con curve of it. Now, I left the trash can underneath the wand on the vice clap until the paint was done drying to a point where it's sticky but still dry. Still drying, you know, to where it's not dripping. So, the only thing I gotta worry about is picking up wood shavings, which that's, shoot, that's easy.
Hey, you will get sand and blisters after doing this. Or you can if you're not careful. Put your hands a bit calloused. So I got like six left to carve, which isn't too bad. One second, a second to get these wood shavings off the floor real quick, Facebook. Carving wands is quite fun, but it does get rather messy.
now. There we go. I'll keep the apartment ventilated while I paint. Uh, I got like six wands left to carve on. Chill out on that for a second. Hmm. I'm doing good, Sam. Uh, Sam, knowing, knowing, going. Eh. Sorry if I butchered your last name. I'm doing all right. There's a sore throat, though. It usually happens around this time of year for me. It's normal. I don't have any um, Vix or what have you, but this will soothe my sore throat. That's why I put the blanket down so the smoke wouldn't travel into the hallway. And that's why I opened both windows so that the smoke was just, you know what I'm saying. I'm not doing something indoors as much. Maybe occasionally on social media, but oh. Now, menthols are great for a sore throat if you're a smoker. Which you shouldn't do, it's a filthy habit. Says this guy. Isn't that like the most hypocritical thing on the planet when you got someone sitting there holding a cigarette saying, oh, you shouldn't smoke, it's bad for you, and then they There you go, take two, two or three, four drags, put it down. Instead of sitting through and finishing the whole thing. Wait, if I do that, that one trick that I do, hold on a second. Damn, I almost got it. Yo, 
Yo sí, uh... That's a hard way to look at uh... Might as well finish it. Let's chop it down real quick. <sighs> Trying to freaking align it with a fireball, and it's hard to do, but it's a very hard drug to do. So you know, this way when I blow it, I can blow it directly out the window so it's not fogging out my apartment. No. Mm. And even if you're a non-smoker, you get like menthol cough drops, same concept. Get these uh, six ones carved out real quick. Now, as soon as that glowing wand is done drying, I'm gonna put a handle on it right quick. I don't need to have one like every five fucking minutes, but Every three to four hours or so, it's good to Here's another one that's um, made out of pine. <clears throat> It's good just to kind of tune out the outside world for a second, you know. Bullshit on social media. Mm.
This one, I'm just going to leave the bark on the handle for texture. I'll get most of the bark off on the wand section. After smoking that that marble slate, my throat feels much better. That menthol soothed and hit the back of my throat. Much better. You can still kind of smell it in here, but with those windows open wide open, that snow is going to be gone pretty quickly. The sooner I get these wands done, the sooner I can get some money, and the sooner I can take that girl out for some drinks. Yeah. I know it's old fashioned, but as a dude, if you're going to pick up chicks for drinks, it helps to have a little bit of cash in your pocket. You can't expect her to pay for it all. That's just a bum move. Now, there are some women who are more independent who feel like you know, they don't need no man to pay no bill, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. You know, that's perfectly fine. But traditionally speaking, and I'm not trying to sound old-fashioned or sexist, but as a man, it's a generally thing to do, even if the chick has money and she's offering to buy you drinks. You know, at least offer to take equal share in the pay. You know, when I was saying Facebook. There we go. Is that? Should have enough sandpaper to finish this bloody batch of ones. feeling I get when the wands are being delivered to their customers. I know that a lot of people are going to be happy when they get those in the mail. I want to 
to go too much skinnier on that. That's skinny enough. You don't want them to be too fat. You don't want them to be too skinny. At least I don't. And hit that handle right there real quick. Yeah, these are too fucking thin. Yeah, I can't get them. It's ten then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shoot. We need another stick. <clears throat> At least I have enough to do 10 in this match. That's good.
carved out. It just needs to be sanded. That leaves like after this one, three left. They <coughs> make smaller batches. You can all quicker. Right? They're easier to ship. Sometimes if I can get away with using the same piece of sandpaper for more than one wand. is just get my waters done and get them sold. And now that I got 10 sticks for a batch. clean cut then I can point it
right, so a little bit more off the mark. Right around the handle area. Sandpaper stretch in front of it. Sticks are fresh in front of it. By painting them and handling them and podging them, that takes a bit longer because they got to dry. But I get the first half of these painted, then set them to the side, and then do the same thing to all the other ones. That way, when I go to put the black on the handles, I can just set them up on paint cans. Pretty much just tone out the rest of the world for a minute and
this one next. Yeah, another piece of sandpaper. The better I get at making these, the faster I can make them. That's just, you know, how it goes. Definitely need the snippers again on the I'll make trimming these excess little bits off the sand this puppy down right quick. Now, if my parents aren't exactly in town when these are done and ready to be shipped, then I can still get access to what I need to do what I gotta do. You know, that ain't a trip. Thank you. 
Oh, this one's got a really cool looking grain to it, man. I like it. That piece is shot. Now, once YouTube and Facebook, once all these wands are carved out, I'm going to put a handle on the glowing wand, and then that's a good place to uh, be at the moment, getting them all painted up and stuff. nice I like the grain on this one I might make this one the clear wand just because it's got really 
really interesting green. You know what I'm saying? And last but not least, the last one to carve in the batch. As you can see, this one's a bit thicker. I can make it thicker on the handle, but definitely want to make sure that the wand portion is definitely, it looks much, much skinnier. And then this is going to take a lot of sanding. Am I trying to see what the fuck is? No, where's my, uh, oh, there it is. Hey, my, uh, that's right. Oh, extra standing won't hurt, but I do need my barley knife. Get that section of it carved off, leave a little bit on the handle for the white bar.
Because they might just make this a parlor wand, to be honest. I'll see what's up. Uh, I'm feeling for the batch when I get to this one. But this one's going to take a lot of sanding. is old and she's buying a stairway to heaven and when she gets there she knows all the stores will be closed and going on down the road dun, 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 dun. Too much thicker than this. But I'm definitely going to make it more pointy. On the end here.
I need some beats up in here, YouTube. Hold on a second, Facebook. Let me just go to YouTube and throw on some 90s old school beats. Let's see. There we go. Sweat coming out of your gland. All these get his hand, 
Wait, all these other haters just can't stand. I'm making my hustle on bust of Cobra Craft wands, magic and chaos, sitting there slamming the dogs and eating drink. Having a fart and the coming at your butt and it stinks. Yo, what is it? White boys can't rap, so I bust the flow on stops and major things. Damn. Wait a second. I bust on a rap on a bad racket. I want to do a rap album, I said it's budget, and it's rap and metal. But you already know how I sound this musical score. Wait a minute, why does life gotta be a chore? You already know the score. Why do people gotta be mean to each other? I'm sick of it. Politically rapping, it's legit, and you don't want to admit it, but damn. Pick another beat. Hold on a second. Where's where? where, where la, 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 there we go. Chelsea. 
get the shit up off the top of my head. Got some mad lyrics and upset. This one looks pretty well crafted. It's not too fat, it's not too skinny, it's got a nice thickness to it. You don't want it to be too skinny because then the, then that's how you know it'll break easier, but this one, yeah. Same, a little bit thicker than this one, but that's all right. I might uh, do a little bit more sanding on it right quick. Make it just a little bit thinner on the wand portion at least, but not too much there. Yo, pick out another beat while I'm sanding this bad rap skill in my seat. Tune in for the Facebook madness, you're in for a treat. Making Cobra Craft wands like an OG gangster goth. Hustle and bustle. This is the reimagined accurate RDX. Design. Thank you. 
Very nice. And naturally, it's a little bit thicker down here where the handle's going to be. But up here, it's a lot thinner because that's how wands are. They start off. At least a handheld wand like Harry Potter might have, for instance. It starts off really thick at the bottom. And then it gets progressively thinner as it goes up. Yeah. That's a hair thicker than this one. And this one is also a little thicker. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool. Oh boy. That's a lot of wood chippings. Hold on.
Holy Toledo Batman. Yeah, like I said, making wands is a rather messy ordeal. But I think the messiest part about making these wands is carving them out. Because everything else, you can literally hang it up in a vice clamp over a trash can. I'm trying to rustle me up some grub help on a second. That's not gonna be quick. Watching me get this cleaned up isn't very entertaining, mind you, but it needs to be done. I'm not just going to leave wood shavings all over my carpet. Facebook, I just, I can't. It's a potential fire hazard. I'm like, nope. Sweep, 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 sweep.
looks a lot better. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Today, Wednesday, I should have these wands done by hopefully next Monday or Tuesday. Not making any promises, but that would be the goal. Most excellent Facebook. Now that I've got wands carved out ready for paint and handles, uh, that's not, the rest of that's not gonna go. The rest of that's not gonna go too much longer. I mean, no matter spot my wands where I'm caught up for the most part, I mean, this isn't gonna take too long. Now that they're at least carved out. Uh, uh, I don't know about y'all, but I need a cigarette. Uh, oof. Instead of just chain smoking like a madman. You know what I'm saying? Oof. But, yeah. I am excited, man, because these wands are about to be done. I'm letting the paint dry on that glow in dark wand a bit longer, just to be on the safe side. Now all that's left on pretty much all my wands, paint, handle, and podge. Yeah. It takes me like three to four days to get a full batch done. Yeah. Uh, my day is going pretty good, Sarah. Thank you for asking. Yeah. I do apologize if I haven't been paying attention to chat. I've been focused on getting my wands carved out. And now, they are carved out. Hold on, why am I using my big to light that? Actually, no, I'm not trying to pull on that cigarette trick. Hold on a second. There's a trick I like to do when lighting a cigarette. It's very hard to do, but if you pull it off just right, it's some pretty cool shit. Damn it. There we go. Got the King Cobra's way most badass way to light a cigarette. Just like 
fireball like oh hey check this out now imagine you're at a bar having a couple drinks you step outside for a cigarette and you pull some shit like that some drunk chick will be looking at you like Whoa, did you just use a fireball to light your hand or you light your cigarette and it came out of your hand? How'd you do that? It's like, what do you like to know? Because I'm magic, honey. But thank you for watching me make wands. And uh, catch you all on the next live stream.